Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So normally before I would do a video of me speaking or talking on here um, at my desk, I would, you know, take a shower, do my hair, change my clothes, but as you can see, my shirt is inside out. Um, my hair is oily, I haven't taken a shower. Um, and I have no makeup on. So this is gonna be a video, real talk, real time. And I do not feel good today at all. I was debating on making this video in general, but late last night, I had decided to um, start my walk with Christ today. And that's a big one for me because I got saved in 2016. I started going to church. Um, all my family is Christian, you know. Um, but when I got saved, I felt like, okay, well, I'm the only one in my family that hasn't done it. So, I go to church every day, so I probably should get saved. And no, that is not a good reason to get to get saved. And after that time, I definitely did not walk with Christ. I definitely did not. Um. So, the past couple years, he's been kind of like, like putting his hand on me, tapping me, saying come on Madison like I'm, I'm trying to get you where you need to be like fo follow me and of course I believed that there's a God up there <clears throat> I really I really did but I didn't go to church I didn't read the Bible I didn't pray I didn't worship him I didn't send up thanks I didn't do any of that so I wasn't a follower I was a believer you know there's a believer and there's a follower you can believe in the Lord and knowing that he's up there and think, okay, well, me just, me just by believing, I'm going to go to heaven. That's not true. Um, there's a TikToker that I watched last night that really st started this whole thing. Um, she had said, you know, just because you're a believer doesn't mean you're going to get to heaven. Just because you believe that he's up there doesn't mean when you walk up to heaven's gates that he's going to say, all right, my child, come on in. That's not what he's going to say. He's going to say, nope, I'm just going to have to send you away. I'm just going to have to turn my back on you because you're not a follower. You're not my child. You're not a, you're not a follower. Okay, take that back. You are his child. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going off on a rant, not thinking about what I'm saying. And then there was a, there's a follower of Christ. You follow in his steps. You follow in his word. You do his will. You do his want. That's where I want to be. I want to, when I pass, I want to know for a hundred percent, ten percent that I'm going to go to heaven's gates and he's going to let me in. Yes, I'm a sinner. Everyone is. If we weren't, it would be Jesus. Okay? Um, But, but we are. So I'm not going to be a hundred percent perfect in this journey. But I want to record my progress and put it on here just in case there is somebody that's like me that got saved on an account of why well, I should do it. Because I, I go to church every day, not because I listen to what he's saying. I just go because my parents go. I go because if I sat at home and my parents went, oh, everybody at the church would be like, okay, well, you know, she's not, you know, da 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 da, da. I want to go. I want for a preacher to, you know, stand up there, walk me through what he's saying, me absorb it in and take that home with me instead of me just sitting there every Sunday and every, I went every Wednesday, not because I wanted to hear what they were saying, just because I wanted to see my friends. And... Like I said, I haven't done a lot today because I do not feel good. I was just laying in bed not too long ago, which is not norm normal for me. But I've had some things going on. Um, so, it's understandable to have a not feel good day. So, I'm not going to get everything that I want to get done today. But, and another thing, I don't want to open the Bible and start reading it and not understand what I'm reading. So I've been starting listening to podcasts. There's this one girl. It's say it's her la, 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 her um channel is called Save Not Soft, and she goes through a lot of it. Um, 
not in a preacher tone of voice where it's just like, okay, I'm an official. No, she's sitting like a friend. She's sitting on her couch and she's got her phone up there and she's sitting like she's sitting in front of you and she's talking to you about the Bible, about one was about letting go, one was about um, following. Like she's your friend, like she's sitting next to you and I love that. So if she, if she can see this, then I love you, girl. Um, I'm going to start listening to your podcast while I work out. I'm trying to work out today. Did it happen? Um, but she's my new workout podcast buddy. <laughs> um, and I plan on going to church this Sunday. I don't know what church I want to go to because I haven't found one that I liked. My family has a church. Um, Methodist, though. Um, which there's no problem with that. I just, it's a different type. And then... And then the one that my parents go to, the preacher just talks way too fast for me. Like I said, I want somebody to slow it down, break it down for me, and I completely understand it and absorb it by the time that I walk out that church doors. And that's not what I was getting there. I'm not sure exactly what church that I want to go to. So Sunday is a day that we're just going to go to one and see how it goes. And I'll give you guys an update on what I thought about it from my perspective. So my first step um, would be the podcast. I want somebody to talk to me how it'd be friend to friend, like um, Save Not Soft, that girl does. I'm going to, what I've noticed that's not gonna, that's not putting me on the right track, how I've been for the past couple of years, drinking, not being kind to others, not saying that I was like, F-U-B, you know, to somebody, but I wasn't being kind. I wasn't putting myself in somebody else's shoes for the longest time. And I want, just, just think of somebody, just say good morning to somebody that you don't know, just say good morning. I went to Walmart today. I was like, good morning, how, how was your morning? And she was like, it's been great, thank you. And maybe that made her day. Maybe that old lady has nobody to go home to. And she loved for me to say, good morning, how are you? And, and I haven't been doing that for the past couple of years. I mean, as a mother and a wife, because I'm a 20-year-old mother and wife, and that, that's a lot crimmed in the past couple of years. But I haven't been saying, Lord, thank you so much for the wonderful life that you had gave me and are still giving me. You know, it, it's by the grace of God that I'm talking to you right now on YouTube. And I haven't been giving him praise the past couple of years. I haven't been praying every night, waking up in the morning praying. I haven't been praying throughout the day. I haven't been lifting my hand up and talking to him throughout the day either. Saying, Lord, thank you for this McDonald's that I am absorbing and fulfilling my body with right now i i don't say that i said lord thank you that my husband is able to go to work and provide money so i can put gas in my truck i don't say that but this is my journey i'm starting now starting today and my life is going to be changed my whole attitude is going to be changed instead of listening to terrible worldly music now, there are some country songs that I'm going to continue to listen to, but they're not like, you know, I Paint the Town Red song by Doja Cat. That's pretty, you know. Or there was some Beyonce song, and then there was some other rap, rap song that's like, I want to sell my soul to the devil or something like that. I was like, what? I don't listen to that anymore, Okay. Used to, I would just listen to stuff like that and not even think about it. But the Lord's just been tapping me and tapping me and tapping me and just saying, Madison, come to me. Come to me. I'm begging you, child. Come to me. And I'm listening. So this is my journey. I'm starting today. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to be, I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to be kinder. I'm going to follow his word. 
and I'm going to try to soak in and absorb as much as what he's trying to tell me and what he's trying to do for me at all times. So if you want to follow along on my journey, maybe it'll help you. You can subscribe and follow. I have a link tree. All my accounts are listed. So I'm going to be posting this video also on TikTok. Um, and maybe it'll reach the right people.